Hey everyone, my name is Ina and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing another first impression review. Finally, it is going to be on these Milgit Magnesia. <laughs> I got this from MJ's online shop and I will put their link in the description box below in case you want to get one for yourself as well. Forgot how much this is for, more or less 200 pesos. I've been meaning to do a first impression review on this one for quite some time, but it's really hard for me to wake up early, so I just said, F it, I'm just gonna do it. Kahit na hapon ako magsisimula. <laughs> anyway, MJ sent this to me. Thank you so much, MJ. And sabi niya, this would actually be a good primer to use for oily skinned people like me, like us. Let's see if this will work for me and kung okay talaga, then okay talaga. I've read some good and bad reviews about this product. We will use my face as a guinea pig and let me read to you the instructions at the back. It just says here, shake the bottle before using. Mmm. Pretty liquidish, yeah. And then apply a little amount on the face, let it dry for two to three minutes, and then apply makeup as usual. And by the way, I do have very oily skin. If you watch my videos, you know how oily my T zone, actually my H zone gets. <laughs> so we will see if this will actually help. Okay, so puha lang tayo ng konte. Uy, maganda pala tong packaging nila kasi. Nako control mo talaga yung product na makukuha mo. See? Ganyan siya. Ah, hindi pa na siya super liquid yo. See? Talagay na natin sa ating face. Parang may tugging factor siya ha? kapag nagdadry na siya. Cool. And wala naman siyang smell. I don't smell anything naman. And then, sabi don, let's dry for 3 minutes. So, timer starts. Now, maghihintay lang tayo ng 3 minutes and then I'll be right back. Wala naman ako nakikita ang difference sa aking face after applying the Milk of Magnesia. No white stuff or anything. Wala naman talaga. Alright, so it's been 3 minutes since I've let this dry on my face. Medyo may tugging factor talaga pag ginaganyan ko. It feels very matte actually. But it doesn't really look dry naman sa mirror. It doesn't look dry at all. Not flaky or whatsoever. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so today for foundation, I'm going to use one of my favorites. Klarong klaro naman sa lalagyan niya na sobrang favorite ko siya. Malapit na talaga siya maubos. And wala pa siyang stock dito. Bakit ba San San? This is the San San Sole Matte Foundation. But if you guys have seen reviews about this, you would know that this is not matte whatsoever. It's more like a satin finish on the skin. And it doesn't have any oil control whatsoever. So I'm just gonna apply my foundation. Foundation. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply my foundation as per usual. And then I'll tell you my thoughts. Kung ano ba ang feeling na no, nilalagay ko siya. I know it doesn't look like it matches my face, but it matches my neck, so okay lang siya. I have a lot of redness on my face, so it looks a bit weird right now. Anyway, as I was applying the foundation, I definitely felt na may tugging factor talaga. I think it's because of the super matte finish of the Milk of Magnesia, so it was a bit hard to blend in the foundation. But anyway, that's the only con that I have observed. As for the finish, it still looks like the finish of the San San Matte Foundation. I really like this finish though, so I'm just gonna work the foundation on the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So here it is guys, I already finished applying my foundation. I powdered in ako because I always apply powder after I apply foundation. SOP na talaga yun for me. As for the finish, I'm really liking it so far. I love it. So let's see if this Milk of Magnesia will actually help the foundation stay in my face longer and if it will really hold up the matte look of my face. I do see that right here on the center of my nose, it's looking a bit patchy, but nothing noticeable naman. Nakikita mo lang siya pag ganito kakalapit sa face ko. It is now 1.55 a.m. No, p.m. 1.55 p.m. I'll be back later with probably a different top kasi aalis ako and a better face. Hey guys, I'm back for my second update. It is now 5.35 p.m. and it's been about three and a half hours since I last applied the primer on my face. 
And as what I can see here, um, it's still looking pretty okay. I'm really shiny on my nose area and here on my cheeks, but hindi pa naman masagwa tignan. Okay pa naman. Usually if I wear this foundation, I would get super oily on my nose and here on my cheeks and here above the brows. Now my forehead still looks really matte as well as here. I'll just try to blot away the oil from my nose because it's not looking pretty. Super oily ng aking nerves. Ito na ang look niya kapag na blot mo na siya. And this is the amount of oil that I got. As you can see, super konti lang. As in, super konti lang nito for me actually. Kasi yung nag oil up lang na talaga ng masagwa is my nose, which is really the strongest oil production mine that I have here on my face. I'm very happy with the performance as of the moment. I don't have any coverage. Wala pa rin nahukulas na coverage. Anyway, I will check back later tonight with another update. Hey guys, I'm back for my final update. It is now 11:37 p.m. So it's been about and a half hours since I last applied this primer on my face. And as you can see, I have oiled up all throughout the day. Super sagwatig na ng nose ko as in. And the foundation has definitely broken up on my nose area, if you can see that. And I've oiled up on my cheeks as well. But everywhere else, it's still looking A-OK. -okay. Some of the coverage has already faded here and especially here on my chin. So with that foundation, the Santan Soli Matte Foundation, it definitely doesn't have any oil control for me after about four hours. Definitely magkukulas down foundation, especially if it is very hot like for today. It has been super hot. And as you can see right now, konti lang yung natanggal na coverage on my cheeks. So I think this really works, especially on my forehead. It has worked the best on my forehead, actually. It still looks pretty matte. It doesn't look oily at all, but it wasn't able to combat the oil from my nose. It was able to combat the oil on my cheeks, but some of it really came oozing out. Actually, okay pa rin tong look ko na to. As for me, okay pa rin to. So anyway, I think I would give this primer primer a 4 out of 5 because it really works. Probably, probably, probably. <sighs> Probably if you're not as oily as me, I think it would. I think it would. I think it would work good on you. For me, I think I really need a more mattifying primer just on the nose area. But everywhere else, it did its job. My pores are not super visible, pero ang jet parin siya. It did not wear out my pores. It kept my makeup on for as long as it can keep my makeup on. So I really like it. For only 200 pesos, I think it's really a good primer to try out. Again, if you wanna try that primer, to click on the link in the description box below MJ's online shop on Facebook. Um, try it out for yourself kasi maganda nga talaga siya. I really like it. And that's it for this review today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and sana naging helpful itong video na to to at least one of you guys out there. Subscribe to my channel para ma-update kayo in case I upload a video. I upload every other day. And comment down below kung may comments kayo, questions, suggestions, anything at all. I really like reading your comments and I always reply to comments. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!